Hey guys, Ava here. Now that I've erased Cody from my life, I'm feeling like I'm ready to move on. This could be fun. Oh my God, Ava, that guy I was telling you about is interested. Oh, yes. I think you're gonna like him. He loves movies, but I'm not sure if he's your type. I don't even think I have a type, but if I do, I'm excited to find out what it is. Well, think of us as your own personal dating app. We're like a human algorithm. Yeah, what are the top five things you look for in someone you want to date? Well, someone with similar interests to me, good movies, live music, hanging out with friends, someone active that can keep up with me. Ideally, they rock climb or they hike, someone kind, someone cute, someone to replace Cody. My soulmate. Is that so much to ask for? Not at all. Okay, we can't make any promises. Is it cool if I set you up with one of my girlfriends from work? Definitely. Okay, how do you feel about someone who's into politics? Sure. I'd go on a date with just about anyone. <laughs> I'd go on a date with a criminal. I'll text Jerry. Only if it's like a minor felony, like not like a real criminal. <laughs> Guys? Look at me, open to new possibilities. Call me Ava 2.0, new and improved and ready to meet people or criminals. And this is How to Survive a Breakup. Well, this is exciting. Well, I don't have any pets now, but eventually I want to get a dog. You should get a snake. I have the coolest snake ever. Oh, that's cool. I've never met a snake owner before. What's his name? Sarah. Well, I mean, I've done some climbs in Yosemite. So you must be pretty strong. Let's arm wrestle. I'm really passionate about a lot of things, like the environment. Really? You scared? Never. You hate rom-coms? Romantic comedies are lies. That's why I prefer dark, psychosexual thrillers. <laughs> the Great Bear Reef's already half gone. It's terrible. I've seen it. I think we need to do everything we can do to stop it. Don't you agree? If I knew you were going to be one of those whale-saving, earth-is-round type of girls, I would have passed. But the earth is round. That was so fun! Yeah. Yeah, that was so fun. Just fun for me, I guess. Just fun for me. I got stood up. Whatever, now I get to eat guac and chips all night. Doesn't taste like lime, but those are addictive as hell. Ben, hi. Cool ranch and nacho cheese, strong move. What are you doing here at an hour like this, looking like you should be on a date? I got stood up. I'm sorry, that sucks. It's fine. Yeah, you know, haven't had much luck in the dating department lately. I find that hard to believe. Whoa, this guy? Our date went horrible. I don't know why he's calling me. <laughs> Was he mean to you? No, he just ruined romantic comedies for me forever. That's worse. Here, answer it. I have an idea. Go on, answer it. Hey, Ty. Hey. Was wondering if you'd be down to hit up a midnight screening of Suspiria. Hey, it's Ben, Ava's boyfriend. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I, I didn't realize that. You... Yeah, no, uh, I'm her ex's neighbor. Long story short, she was outside, half naked. And Ben was there. Mm hmm. It was kind of like out of a romantic comedy. Uh, hey, uh, if you guys are free, the theater's only half full. Uh, we'll pass. Wanna... Thanks. That was. That was really nice of you. Happy to help. You've got some chip on your face. What'd I tell you? That hint of lime, it'll get you. That frozen child is still here. Please come clean. 
so... Yeah, um, I should get going. I have to bring these to someone. Right, um, of course. Well, it was good to see you. You too. That's the next step to surviving a breakup. When you put yourself back out there, you should always stay true to who you are. You cracked me up. In fact, whoever you like should like you for you. Now, whether or not they're available, that's a whole other issue, but we're not gonna talk about that. Okay, I know I said I was open to things, but I never in a million years thought this would happen. I don't really understand. I guess that confirms it. Ben is definitely off the market. Okay, I'm just gonna bring him this soup and then I'm leaving. Brought you your soup? You're an angel. You're coming for a sec. Oh. Seriously, I don't know what I would have done without you. I feel better already. Okay, well, I'm gonna go. Wait, wait, wait. Let me give you some cash. My wallet's in the bedroom. One sec. Ew, he's probably harvesting an illness in whatever that is. Cody?